love Starbucks because it's fun over there. It's fun. Like when you give your order and sometimes they ask for your name, I like to just look at them and go, I'm Batman. Because there is nothing better than watching a barista stand there and be like, I have a latte for Batman. <laughs> and they have to say it. They have to. It's great. You could give them any name you want. Like this morning, I gave him my Hebrew name. I'll have a decaf latte. Sure, what's your name? Elazar Yaakov Ben Shlomo. <laughs> she was like, um, do you have a nickname or something? Well, my friends call me Jew bastard. <laughs> I'm not writing that on the cup, sir. <laughs> you guys should try it. You should. Anyone in here has like long hair and a beard. When they ask for your name, just go, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, my son. It's good to be back. It's so obvious that, it's so obvious that no one will really believe that it was Jesus. It's so obvious. It's my impression of you. <laughs> That's you heckling me. It's so obvious that Jesus would never even walk into a Starbucks. It's so obvious. Still you. See, that's my thing. A lot of comedians, I like to do impressions of celebrities. That's fun. I do that, too. But I really enjoy doing impressions of people in the audience. Let's see who we have here. Uh, we should have gone to the movies. <laughs> These American comedians, they think they are so clever. Not even a smile, nothing? <laughs> He's looking at me like, I hate you. My favorite accent is the uh, Russian accent. I love doing that. Because they take the letter Y and they put it between every other letter. Like, take any sentence. Like, this traffic is unbelievable. They would say, this traffic is unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe it. Who else do we have here? Let's see, who else? Who else? Oh my God, I hope he does me. He's kind of cute. He could do me anytime. <laughs> That's you, sir. <laughs> I'm getting away. No, I don't know if you're gay or not. I don't know, you're with another dude. I, I don't care, I don't wanna know. I don't care, I don't care. This is my show right now. This is my segment, and in my head, you're a fag. Let me... Uh... <laughs> By the way, people, you can't say that word. I can. I could say it because I, I have a younger brother who is gay and I'm allowed. There's a rule. If you have a gay member of your family and you are loving and accepting of them, you can say fag. Yeah, the same is true if you have a black member of your family. You could say fag too because <laughs> you don't want to mess with that other crap. Trust me, people. <laughs> I've seen the Michael Richards tape and it's ugly. That really did piss me off. Anybody see that Michael Richards thing on the internet? It bothered me to see like a comedian use a comedy stage for such hate speech. And it took me by surprise, because who would have thought that Kramer was racist? There were no signs of it, there were no hints. There was no racist Seinfeld episode that was like, down, 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 down. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Hi, Kramer. You know who just moved into the building? An N word. Oh, no, this is an N word of the building. <laughs> we can't have an N word of the building. What are we going to do? I don't know, Jerry. I'm scared. <laughs> They're putting up a barber shop in the lobby. <laughs> a barber shop in the lobby. I don't care if you laugh or not. This is fun for me to do, all right? <laughs> Racist Seinfeld is my favorite bit. Oh, no. Next thing you know, we get caught in the middle of an East Coast, West Coast rap feud. Yeah, we'll get shot and it'll be bye bye <laughs> Thank you, Montreal, just for laughs. Thank you.